All right, so Liz Cheney um, is plotting. She's scheming. She's making moves behind the scenes, and now we're getting some reports on it. And, you know, she said in no uncertain terms a number of times, now my primary goal is to take down Donald Trump. Take him down. You know, he, he's, he's a menace. He's a threat. And uh, nobody should stand for what he's doing. And she's dedicating herself to it. Uh, now, I'm going to explain to you why her evil genius plan is backfiring. Okay, and this isn't really opinion. This is more just the raw numbers show this. So first, this is in CNBC here. The Koch network and other Trump allies are quietly backing his biggest GOP critic, Liz Cheney. So that's nothing to scoff at, man. If you have Koch brothers money, that means you have pretty much infinite money in the realm of politics. Two PACs backing Liz Cheney hired I360, a data and technology company financed by billionaire Charles Koch, according to Federal Election Commission filings. People close to Donald Trump told CNBC that the former president and his allies could try to get people to stop working with Cheney. Now, here's the problem with that, man. Here's the problem. There is a split among the Republican establishment. It's true that all of their public positions are, we love Trump, he's great, isn't he wonderful? The only reason they're saying that stuff is because they want to stay, stay in good standing with their base, okay? Um... Behind the scenes, their private position is like, we got to get rid of this guy because they don't think they could win a general election with him at the head of the ticket. They just don't. So that's why you see some of these big money GOP donors breaking for Liz Cheney or just breaking in a general anti-Trump direction. And by the way, I covered the story before. There are many big money Republican donors who are like, I can't, we can't do Trump again. We just can't do it. Okay, so now she's flirted with, hey, maybe I'll run for president. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll do that. We just got this poll that came out. And this says a lot right here. Let it refresh for a second, and then we'll be able to see it. 2024 presidential general election. This is in a race with Trump, Biden, and Liz Cheney. If Liz Cheney runs as an independent in the 2024 election, Trump would get 40%, Joe Biden would get 32%, and Liz Cheney would get 11%. So in other words... Now we know Liz Cheney is definitely taking more voters from the Democrat than she would from Trump running as an independent in the general election. So look, there more, there's more specific numbers here. And this was from YouGov. This is a legit poll, right? Sample size was 1,500 or so. You could argue, hey, we need a bigger sample size. But I, I, it's already a pretty strong case, in my opinion, that this is what would happen. So... If you had Biden versus Trump, okay, Biden versus Trump would be 46% Joe Biden, 42% Donald Trump. That's straight up. So even today they're saying Biden would beat Trump. And that's not exactly surprising. There was a time not too long ago where Trump would have beaten Biden. And we talked about at the time when Biden had a 33% approval rating and he was doing Dickie McGee's acts with all of his time. Things have changed. Roe versus Wade got overturned. The January 6th committee's happening. Four or five pieces of legislation the Democrats have passed. And so now it's 46-42 in favor of Joe Biden. If you add Liz Cheney, you see the results. She just takes more from the Democrat. She just takes more. 40 for Donald Trump, 11 for Liz Cheney, 32 for Biden. I mean, so that, I mean that's a backfire job. So then, look, here's where we are now as a result of this. Liz Cheney's only way to accomplish the goal that she seemingly wants to accomplish is she has to run in the Republican primary and just dedicate herself to doing a total kamikaze mission, knowing she's only going to get 2% or 4% of the vote or whatever the fuck it is, right? But just go in there and your sole goal is to take no shit and try to take down the big dog. That's all you can do. But then that is complicated as well for this very simple reason. And Crystal and I have talked about this quite a bit. Are they going to allow her on the stage? Is the RNC going to allow her on the stage? Because even though many big donors are fleeing Trump, it's also true that Trump's ability to fundraise even off of small dollar donors is helping prop up the RNC. They have a fundraising agreement together. So Trump has all these connections as well, but Liz has all these connections as well. And so there's going to be some faction of the Republican establishment that wants her on stage. And then there's going to be some faction of the Republican establishment that wants to not even allow her on stage because they know what she's doing and they know why she's there. So her only hope to accomplish the goal she wants to accomplish is to 
to run as a Republican in the Republican primary, get in the debates, etc. But will they let her run? Will they allow her on the debate stage? That's an open question, man. That's an open question. Honestly, I don't know the answer to that. I just don't know. But in terms of what I thought the original plan was, which is run as an independent to try to take 3%, 4% from Trump and turn the election over to Biden. Now, because of her posture, she takes more from Democrats than Republicans. She takes more from Biden than she does from Trump, which, by the way, is honestly one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life. Why? Because her voting record is 93% with Donald Trump. And this 11% that cuts for Liz Cheney, these are like the resistance liberals whose whole politics just revolves around, I hate Donald Trump. Look, I hate Donald Trump too, but that's also why I'd never vote for somebody who votes with him 93% of the time. What are you, crazy? What are you, insane? So to own Trump, you're going to pick a different candidate who's not for raising the minimum wage, who's not for unions, who's not for ending the wars, who's in favor of deregulating Wall Street until the cows come home. What, what are you doing? What are you talking about? What is this? She's in favor of our corrupt, disgusting private health care system, which leaves 45,000 Americans dead every year. What are we talking about here? So the Democrats who would vote for Liz over even any generic ass Democrat. Jesus fucking Christ, man. You guys have lost the plot massively, massively. It's really something to see. But anyway, her evil genius plan backfired. I don't know how she's going to work around it, but I'll wait and see. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.